Welcome back to the channel. Before I get into anything, please uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, leave some comments, hit the like button. Uh, it really helps out the channel. Uh, but that said, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did an unboxing video for the uh, newly released second run of the D'Angelico out of New York, uh, the D'Angelico uh, Josh Turner Excel Tammany uh, guitar. And I said I would come back and I would do kind of like a full sound review of it. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh, but let's get into the specs first. This is a, um, an OM uh, uh, body shape. So as you can see, uh, it is um, exceptionally uh, thin. Uh, and it's extremely light, um, very easy to play. I've been living with this for about a week, week and a half, and it's really, it's actually fun to play. It's, uh, the action is great, the sound is really good, and it feels good. It just tucks in nice on my body. I don't feel like I'm fighting, a, battling a dreadnought. Uh, so it's an OM body shape. It's got a Sitka spruce top, uh, laminated mahogany uh, back and sides. Um, let me get a little look at that. Um, the fingerboard is ebony. Uh, the neck is made out of mahogany and it's got scallop bracing uh, inside. The nut width is one and three quarters, so it's nice and wide if you're you know, a finger picker. Uh, I think the scale length is like 25 and a half, so it's, it's not like a triple O where it would be, I think, 24 and three quarters or something. Um, so the scale length is, is more like 25 and a half inches. Um, they did say that one of the things they did was they added, you can't see them here, I think you can. Uh, these are actually, the tuners are actually Grover 109 Super Rotomatics, and I can tell you they're fabulous. Uh, I know that was one of the things that they did between the first run of these guitars and the second was they upgraded the tuners. Uh, the finish is, is an open pour satin finish. You can really see it and feel it on the sides, uh, and the top is just smooth as can be. There's not a whole lot on here that's, that's taking away from the ability of the guitar uh, to vibrate. Um, you do have the opportunity to, to plug in with a quarter inch jack in the back. Um, it has a Journey Tech passive three piezo pickup. Uh, although I know when speaking with some of the techs at D'Angelico uh, before I bought the guitar, uh, that they said that um, you know if you're playing like in a, in a coffee house or an open mic or something like that, uh, you might want to use an LR bag Session DI foot pedal to kind of dial in the sound and get get what you want out of it, uh, out of the electric sound, but acoustically it really sounds fabulous it's never going to be confused with a 35 year old martin d35 or a uh you know a, a gibson j45 uh or a hummingbird or a j200 you know these are three four five thousand dollar guitars this was 799 dollars it was meant to be something that you can sling over your shoulder uh, go to a coffee house go to a friend's house play it on the beach play it on a deck uh play an open mic uh throw a living room concert uh, use it. Don't worry about it if it gets dinged up and you're going to get a great return uh, on the sound. So I don't really play with a pick a whole bunch, but I'm going to you know, play some open chords, give you a chance to get a feel for the sound of the guitar, and, um, and then we'll close out. But uh, by all means, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment. It really helps me out if, uh, if you go ahead and do that. But uh, for right now, let's listen to the Josh Turner D'Angelico XL Tammany acoustic guitar. You should be able to pick up the sustain. It's pretty outstanding for a guitar of, uh, you know, at this price point. Uh, really good. So let's just listen to maybe a couple of uh, uh, strum chords.
Now we'll just do a little finger picking just to kind of give you, you know, some flavor there. So there you go. Um, I'm really excited about this little guy. Uh, I play him a lot. I've got some other guitars as well that are higher end, but um, uh, this one is, is the one that has captured my attention for the last couple of weeks. And um, uh, I'm looking forward to just continuing to uh, find new and different ways to use it. And um, I'll be interested in hearing what you think of, uh, of the sound of the guitar. And um, so by all means, uh, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, Hit the like button, and um, until next time, thanks for watching.